What's up, y'all? My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and we are still out here in Fort Worth getting this RV show set up for this weekend. It is going to be Thursday through Sunday, so that'll be January 6th through January 9th. I will be here all four days of the show. So if you plan on coming to the show and you want to meet up with me, text me at this number up here on the screen. It's going to be busy, it's going to be hectic, and I would hate to miss the opportunity to meet some of y'all that will be coming to the show. And it's very possible if you don't text me that I may miss out on that opportunity. So text me and let me know when you plan to come. And I would love to set up a time to meet you and hopefully help you find your next future RV. Now, as I've been out here at the show trying to decide, all right, what units am I going to get videos of? This is one I was really struggling with because this is a Raptor 429. I did a video of this one not too long ago and I was trying to get videos of stuff that I haven't got videos of already. However, I still feel like this is something worth getting a video of because this here has the brand new 2022 color scheme in it and it is absolutely phenomenal. It is my favorite interior design I've seen on any toy hauler. I'm not talking floor plan specific, although I do love this floor plan as well, but I'm talking about the color scheme in here and the aesthetic of the inside. It is my absolute favorite toy hauler look in the interior design here. And then this is a phenomenal killer floor plan. If you're trying to make a statement at the campsite, this is absolutely going to do it. You have the side patio and the rear patio. This thing is humongous, 45 and a half feet long. So we're going to take a look at everything that it has to offer. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely the subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you're looking to connect with me on other social media sites like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, links to those are down below in the description. And finally, if you plan on coming to the Fort Worth RV show, text me at the number above and let's set up a time to meet. I would love to help you find your next RV, so you can text me there. And if you're just looking for an RV in general, you can also reach me at that number to find your next RV. Oh my gosh, y'all. There is so many exciting things to talk about with this Raptor toy hauler here. Um, the flow of this is going to be slightly different than what it may typically be when I'm at the lot just because there's so much going on here. There's people trying to set things up and I don't want to get in people's way and things like that. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly, but still try to touch on everything that I know that y'all want to know about this Raptor. So as we look at it here, you can see the specs up on the screen. It is going to be a 45 and a half foot long toy hauler. And with, I know a question I've had with the patio down, I believe this patio here is gonna be somewhere around like eight feet. I haven't measured it out exactly, but I would plan on, you know, somewhere around 54 to 55 feet with the patio down if you're trying to figure out those specs there. It's gonna be somewhere around there. I wanna point out real quick, as we're looking back here, you can see that you have the legs here on the patio so this is something that is not going to come on more entry level toy haulers um standard you can put them on any garage door you can get them installed but it comes standard on this garage door so you can disconnect the cables up here that typically hold up a garage like you can see here on the carbon 398 that does not have the legs underneath there these cables are what holds up that patio whereas on the raptor you don't have those cables getting in the way. You can keep that one back there since there's no steps going up into there. You can keep that there for added support if you want. But the legs down here will add that support as well and make sure you can keep your patio level. So this thing is absolutely huge. It looks so good inside and out. You can see you have a big TV here and the only thing we weren't able to put out because there's just not enough room in this aisle is the extra step that you have that comes out right here as well. So one thing I like to point out that's really cool is you have like five different entrances into this toy hauler. You can go up the patio into the garage. You can go into the garage here. Then you can go up these steps here into the living area or the garage. And you can go into the living area up here as well. Well, point the right direction there. <laughs> so five, dip what's that? Five, six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five different entrances into this toy hauler, which is really cool. You have two awnings outside, so you have an awning all over this front area here. The only area that's not covered by an awning is where that slide out was at. And then your entire side patio all the way to the back of the RV is all covered with awning coverage. So you can have this covered patio back here with the TV and your speakers up there to hang out and have a good time. Definitely built for people that like to party. One thing I noticed too that I've never noticed before, usually because probably I'm setting these up in the daylight time and have just never seen it or something that's new that maybe I didn't know was new. Um, 
whether or not I just noticed it and I'm gonna point it out, but you have these lights where each of your hydraulic leveling jacks are that are blue lights underneath here. I've never seen this before. I don't know if this is new. I don't know if this is just something I didn't see because I film in the daylight typically, but that's something that just gives you that underglow underneath the fifth wheel as well that you could always have turned on if you want that I think is pretty neat and also will help as you're setting up or whatever you may be doing if you're doing it in more dimly lit conditions. So something that's pretty cool there as well. So we come around the front, you're gonna have the Road Armor pin box up here. So this is gonna come standard from the factory. This is going to have your rubber bushings here. So as you brake and accelerate and this hitch moves and the pin box moves within that hitch, this is going to absorb a lot of that shock as you're going up and down the road. So that's gonna give you a more comfortable towing experience. You have your different docking lights up here. So you have these blue LED light strips plus these two puck lights that shine down directly into what would be the bed of your truck. So you can see everything that you're setting up. I think, you know, if you're setting up in anything that is even just a little bit, you know, towards dusk or dawn, that's gonna help out significantly with being able to see what you're doing. Plus you have the patented hitch vision plate here. So this is a mirrored plate that will allow you to see down into the bed of your truck as well as you're backing up to line up your fifth wheel with the, with the pin box there. On this side, you're gonna have two slide outs. So this is gonna be your living room slide out and your bedroom slide out. The bedroom slide is a really short slide, um, doesn't come out too far and it's on the cable driven slide system. So you have all four corners being pushed out and pulled in with equal force um, going in and out. So that is going to be that slide system there that allows that to pull in evenly. And then your big slide over here, this is going to be a cable driven slide system as well. So you will same thing, have all four corners being pulled in and out at the same time with the same amount of pressure so that that thing goes in and out evenly. You have a tankless water heater on this Raptor. So that's one thing that has been really impressive about the Raptor. They've been doing that for years where you have the tankless on-demand water heater so you can take as long of a shower as you want. You have that water instantly hot and ready to go. Underneath here, this is gonna be where your water hookups are. Let's turn the light on in here. So all your water hookups will be in here. Plus you'll have things like your battery disconnect. So if you have all your lights on in there and you're leaving your campsite, you can just come and flip that to get them all off without having to go turn them all off individually. You also have a bunch of TVs in here. So if you did put something like a satellite, you have key TV which what this is, is if you put a satellite on there and you want your different TVs to have different channels that they can um, tune into on their own, this is a plug and play method that makes it super simple. You just plug the individual cable box into the TV and then into the key TV panel on the wall and you're good to go. It's just a plug and play method, super simple. Then under here, you also have your inverter for the residential fridge because it is a, it's a, um, a 2022 Keystone, sorry, I was uh, struggling to get my train of thought there. Because it's a 2022 Keystone, it does have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. So that'll be up on the roof and that is what that additional spot for the inverter is for. If you wanna expand upon the solar system, you can add another inverter underneath there, add more solar panels, start to get power from solar to things like your outlets and stuff like that inside the RV. Now, if you wanna run the entire RV off of solar, that is, I mean, since you already have the generator on the unit, which is up here, I would recommend uh, probably not investing that much money into solar for what it would cost to get the whole thing to run off of solar. Cause you're looking at somewhere of, you know, at least $10,000 in solar to try to run this whole RV. And it's not always super efficient as well, but that would be about what you'd be looking for if you want to try to run the entire RV off of solar. Through here you're gonna have your pass-through storage compartment something is ringing underneath here i don't know if y'all can hear it on there but it's really annoying me <laughs> and uh so i don't know what that ringing was we got it fixed later on but i'm gonna do a voiceover for this portion just so we don't have to listen to that but this is your pass-through storage compartment you have the in command control panel here with all your color coordinated wiring so every wire has its own designated color with a legend that identifies what that wire goes to you'd be surprised how many manufacturers just use solid one color wiring which that is gonna significantly speed up your text processing time if they're trying to troubleshoot any sort of electrical issue for you or if you're trying to do it yourself, having all that color coordinated wiring underneath there. And then in addition to that, you can see you have like the metal slam latch doors on your storage compartment doors here as well. 
And as we continue to go in through here, you're gonna have the solar charge controller that is connected to your solar panel to tell you how much power is being drawn from your solar panel. It's also gonna tell you how much battery life is left on your battery. And another thing underneath here that I wanna talk about that I didn't show on camera is all of your welds are welded on both sides of every weld connection on your aluminum framing, which is something that not every manufacturer does. Now, I wanna make sure I touch on everything outside. I'm just so excited to go inside that I wanna make sure I don't overlook anything. I know underneath here, uh, let's see, you have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. So this is going to give you three inches of travel on the suspension system. Um, the Moride CRE 3000 and the Road Armor suspension systems are the two best ones coming out of the factory. See these Moride CRE 3000s on a lot of them. So you have that upgraded suspension system there. Let's move around here. You have a spare tire underneath there as well and then looking underneath looks like that spare tire needs to be mounted on there a little more proper but you can see that you have everything enclosed underneath here it looks really nice everything is really solid as far as how it is all enclosed and then um, basically all your water lines and your water tanks are all going to be in these cavities underneath here in the same cavity where your heat ducting is ran so if you have your furnace on and it's anywhere close to below freezing temperatures that furnace is going to be giving radiant heat off to your water tanks your water lines making sure that those don't freeze but on top of that you also have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks as well so you can flip those on inside the fifth wheel and get power to those to make sure that your water tanks don't freeze now, as we come to this back patio, you have the two awnings back here, but you also have another awning that comes over the back patio as well. So you'll have that out here. You have a backup camera already installed from the factory. So it comes standard with a backup camera on all Raptor toy haulers. And then coming to the other side here, you have 60 gallons of fuel capacity. So this is gonna be your fuel pump station here. You have your pump underneath there, and then you have 30 gallons for toys and 30 gallons for your generator. So you'll have 60 combined gallons of fuel capacity on this toy hauler. So pretty dang cool to have that. And finally, I wanna point out, um, you have a half bath in the garage back here. So you do have two different dump stations. So you have your gray and black tanks from the kitchen and bathroom up front that will drain out there. And then you have your black, or sorry, your gray tank here. Actually, I think it's another, Let's see if that's a gray or black. Sorry, just a black tank there that is gonna drain out of that area as well. That'll be for the half bath in the back. So I believe that just about completes everything on the outside. Let's go hop on the inside and take a look at everything that this 2022 interior package has to offer. So as we go inside, you can see our show price here for what we have this displayed as on this 429 we're gonna come inside and take a look at how beautiful this is now you can let me know in the comments below what you think of this interior color scheme but i absolutely love it it is my favorite toy hauler interior color package that i have seen for 2022 i don't think there's anything else out there that looks better than this i think the fusion is close with its light colors but this is just what is trending in residential um, properties right now is I follow a lot of like real estate stuff and things like that. This same color scheme and color palette is trending a lot right now in residential. And I really like to see it in this toy hauler. They do something similar in the Outback and Springdale. But this is the first fifth wheel that we have that has gone to this more of like a light wood with white and dark gray contrast with it. And I think it looks really nice. I really like the flooring in here as well, how it looks. You have like a cement gray kind of countertop, which looks somewhat industrial, which I like as well. The higher residential refrigerator looks really good in here as well, being stainless steel. And then it's just a great floor plan. I mean, you have the U-shaped kitchen here, which gives you a good amount of kitchen countertop space. You also have this area here that can be used for like serving. You could put bar stools on this other side as well if you want. So you have all this space. These will turn on as well and you'll have lights on those. You have a convection oven microwave combo. So you'll have that up there. Big window back here as well. 
And then a Furion cooktop and oven with a three burner gas cooktop. This will open up, you'll have a big storage compartment here. You can definitely fit some pots and pans inside there. Storage underneath here for your trash can. And right there, some extra storage. You will have soft closed cabinets on all your cabinets in this Raptor as well. And then coming to this side, you'll have more storage underneath here, plus four pull-out drawers. Oh, that one doesn't open, just kidding. Three pull-out drawers, I forgot the sink is right there. So you'll have this pull-out drawers, you have some tools that it'll come with that are for you in there as well. And then up above, you'll have all your bigger storage compartments up here for additional storage. The white looks really nice as well. This is such like a, I mean, it's like a true white cabinet. I love the white color that they picked. It's very bright and vibrant with this white color. So it's, it's definitely not like a creamy white. It is a very bright white, which I like. You can see in here as well, you also have the monitor for the backup camera that it'll come with which now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably take that out before someone steals that here at the show. <laughs> but lots of storage space back in here as well. You have a single basin sink with this rack that rolls out over the top of it. And then your faucet here will move around as well. New backdrop for this year as well, or backsplash, um, looks really nice and it is secured really well to the sidewall. I mean, it is like, I can't get it peeled off there, which is nice. I know that's been an issue with some of these, um, backsplashes that are you know not actual tiles sometimes they want to come off and stuff like that this is actually secured on there really well this is about the third raptor toy hauler i've seen that has this new backsplash on it and they're all coming very well secured so i like to see that and then you have multiple different outlets in here as well outlet up there outlet back here and an outlet there so three around this kitchen area that you'll have you have lights shining down over this countertop, your residential refrigerator here. So you'll have lots of space in this refrigerator and freezer. The freezer is laid out a little bit differently than the refrigerator section. And the next to your refrigerator and freezer, you're gonna have this, what is probably gonna be used for most people's like a coffee bar area. Um, you do have outlets underneath here. Plus you have lots of storage underneath here as well store a lot of things back there for whether it be for your kitchen or for just a coffee bar type of setup and more storage up here as well so a great amount of storage space you have a window out to your camp side as well you can set things up there you have a couple light switches here so i do want to point out you have things like led lights up above your slide outs so that's what one of those light switches is for is for this led light up here um, that is some extra added lighting that really makes it bright and poppy in here really like that this is gonna be designated as like a pantry space or you can put stuff in here that you want quick access to from the patio. So you'll have that area and then more storage up above here that you can get to as well. The soft close cabinets just make that closing so much easier. I love that I can just fling it closed and know that it's gonna close on its own. Then over here, you're gonna have a big TV. This will swivel out enough to see it from the kitchen or the rest of this fifth wheel. All four seats here can see it very easily. These are all four going to recline as well. And then your end seats have heat and massage features. Something new that I saw in the Thomas Payne furniture this year is these pop out your cup holders. So kind of interesting how they actually go out of the way there. That is something that is new that I don't remember seeing last year. Then you have your heat massage and USB ports there, plus two more USB ports there. And then all of your windows are gonna have the blackout shades. So that'll be across this entire fifth wheel. You have blackout shades. Storage up above the TV. It's gonna be somewhat shallow because you have the half bath behind here, but that's all unobstructed all the way through there. And then just a really beautiful looking space that you have here. The fireplace will also have four different colors that you can choose from on that. You have your bunk up over the garage. So this is going to be a bed that you have up here and you have an outlet and an AC vent up there to help with keeping that cool. And then let's go out into the patio. So your side patio will have the gate around and you have the TV out here. Again, this will all be covered under the awning when you do have the awning pushed out. And then you have the two JBL speakers out here as well. 
Both of these are tinted glass doors. In addition to that, they also have this really thick rubber gasket around the edge here. So this is going to block out a lot of sound. Between that being glass and then having these rubber gaskets along the edges, going to block out a significant amount of sound. So when you close these and you're inside, you're go not going to be hearing a whole lot of what's going on outside if you want it to just stay peaceful inside there and not so loud. So that is something I really like that they do on these doors. And that's pretty much everything. You can see like what I was talking about with the key TV here. So if you did plug in a satellite, it's just a plug and play method, really quick and easy. Same thing going into the garage here, same style door. And then you also have that same style door with this entrance door into the garage, which I really like that because if you do plan on using this garage to sleep people or have kids back there or whatever it may be, you can close this door and it is going to act as a sound barrier for everything going on back there. Everything that's happening back there is basically going to sound like mumbles when you close that door at best. Sometimes if they're talking quietly, you can't hear them at all. So really like that aspect of how they design that and the equipment that they use. I do want to show you real quick. First of all, you have welded tie downs. So all of your tie downs in this toy hauler are welded to the frame. There are a lot of other brands out there that do not weld their tie downs to the frame. They just screw them down into the wooden floor that can cause them to rip out if um, put under too much stress. So these are welded to the frame, going to have much more structural integrity to keep your toys safe. And I wanna show a couple different things back here. First of all, this is about a 12 and it's really, I think a 13 foot garage, but with your tinted glass patio doors that you have here and the gate that will fold in, that's gonna take up about six inches. So it's really about 12 and a half. You do have a lot of windows back here. They are all covered by these black sort of leathery feeling um, sheets that go over them and snap into place, but you do have plenty of windows. Last video I did of this Raptor, I forgot to show the half bath. So here's the half bath. I'm sorry I did not show it, but you have your half bath here with a porcelain toilet. And then you are gonna have a vent up in here as well. Close that up, I left that open specifically so I would not forget because I have so many comments saying I forgot to show the half bath. Washer dryer hookup is in your garage at or portion as well. And then you'll have these two sofas slash beds. They come together in the middle to make a bed or they can be sofas. And then you have the queen bed up over here that will drop down as well. Plus this toy hauler has three ACs. So this third AC is going to be independent from the front two. And you're gonna be able to run all three ACs at the same time on 50 amp service. So that is something you'll be able to do. I also wanna point out they went to the blade vents in this toy hauler this year. Um, they did not have that in the 2021 and the blade vents, what they're doing in contrast to the traditional directional vents, they push air out in a 360 degree motion. So you're getting more of an evil, uh, <laughs> an even dispersion of the air throughout the toy hauler, which is going to significantly cool down the RV quicker as opposed to when air is just shooting in one straight direction and not evenly dispersing. So Keystone in their engineering labs found that these vents are causing RVs to cool down up to 20% quicker than the standard directional vents. So that's something they've went to in basically all of their RVs for 2022. You also have speakers in here, so you will have sound. You have the TV that will drop down. This TV, actually the mount goes down like this right here. So you can see it all the way from out on the patio out here where the party is at. And then you'll have the awning that comes out over. You have the backup camera back here and the gate that goes around the patio. Now, what I wanna show you is in this Raptor, I actually set up the garage a little bit differently so we could see an example of what a different garage setup would look like without having to move things around. This is a uh, Raptor 352. Again, same 2022 color scheme. But you can see here, if you put the carpet down, you get a much more residential feel. All of these toy haulers come with a carpet. And then this is what it looks like with your bunk down and your sofa set up. So this can also come together and make into a bed. This is just giving you a different look at what this garage can look like if you put the carpet down and give it more of a residential feel in here. So we'll hop back out of this one, go back to the Raptor 429. Let's come back up into the garage, make sure I didn't miss anything because I know, I feel like I'm just flying through this so fast trying to make sure I touch on everything but don't go too quick and miss stuff. You have this big storage compartment underneath here. 
that goes through to the sides. So this is gonna be used for a lot of tools and stuff like that, I imagine, for most people. And it's real solid as well. So you can hear that is a metal latch door right there. So that whole door is metal, real solid quality. And that's just about everything back in this garage portion. So glad I didn't miss the half bath because they were really roasting me in the comments for that half bath and not touching on that last time. Have a huge window here. I actually feel like this should go up just so someone doesn't like accidentally damage that while they're here. But a really big window looking out to your campsite. You have your tankless on-demand water heater controls here. Touch screen control panel that will link to your phone so you can control everything on this RV from this panel here or from your phone that it can connect to. And then check out this bathroom. This bathroom looks so beautiful. Backlit medicine cabinet with the white drawers looks so good. You have the residential style porcelain toilet there. Storage up above the toilet. And it just feels so bright and airy in this bathroom. It's that backlit medicine cabinet really does a lot for adding to the lighting in here. And I mean, I'll just give you a look. You know, it's me standing here. Uh, it doesn't really do a good job or do give it justice of just how much light you feel as you're looking into the mirror. But it looks really good when you're checking yourself out in the mirror. You're going to look really good, which is what we all want. And then you're going to have this fiberglass one piece shower with the seat in there as well. Plus, you have all this corner storage in this area. So you have storage there. You do have a fan up in here as well, plus the AC vent. And you do have the skylight in the shower so that you'll be able to be, even if, I guess the height in here is about 6'5 or so. So you have about room for up to 6'7, six, 6'8 six, with that skylight to still fit in the shower. Coming into the bedroom, you have this wardrobe slide, and then this has a king bed in it. You can get it with a queen bed as well. I think we order most of ours with the king bed though, because you do still, even with the king, have some space over here to walk around. There's enough to walk by here. And then you're gonna have a TV in the bedroom. So you have a TV in here as well. And let's look through the storage that you have. You're gonna have your clothing rack there to hang up clothes. This will be unobstructed all the way through. So you can put all kinds of different stuff in there. And then you have these three drawers that pull out right there that are pretty big. So lots of space there as well for storage. Now, one thing that's cool about the Raptor that they've been doing for a couple of years as well is you have these wireless charging pads. So as long as your unit is plugged in, you can drop your phone right on there if it has wireless charging capabilities and it will charge your phone. Storage up above, you have a nice area right here a nice shelf to put some different accessories and whatnot and then this will pass all the way through unobstructed to that other side there also underneath your nightstand area you have a little storage compartment you have an outlet over here it is an inverted outlet so basically what that means is if you put another inverter on this fifth wheel and expand upon the solar package you then start getting power to these outlets that say inverted on them so you'll have that on this side as well plus the wireless charger then underneath the bed, let's get to the corner. You actually have to go to the corner to lift this one up. It's gonna be a strut assisted storage compartment underneath here and it goes all the way back to the front cap. So a ton of storage space underneath your bed as well. I also forgot to mention while we were in the garage portion, um, I'll give us one last quick look at the bedroom. Cool. While we were in the garage portion, I forgot to mention that it is also going to come with a table that I believe is stored underneath that top bunk in the back garage, but it'll come with a table that you can use wherever you want. A lot of people will set it like between their two um, sofas there, or some people will bring it out into this area here, but it does come with a table as well that you can use. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully I didn't miss too much going to it, through it as fast as I did, but hopefully y'all got what you needed out of it. And if I missed something, please let me know down below in the comments. All right, y'all, that's all I got. If you plan on coming out to the Fort Worth show, I would love to meet you. So reach out to me here at this number on the screen and let me know when you plan on coming by. Um, I would hate to miss the opportunity to meet some of y'all that will be here at the show. So text me if you plan on coming and let's arrange a time to meet up so I can meet you and hopefully help you find your next RV. If you are interested in this particular 
Raptor 429 or any 2022 Raptor 429 or any RV for that matter, you can text me there as well and I would love to help you out in getting you into your next RV. So reach out to me there. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you at the show.